Hello everyone, welcome to Learn and Innovate, your learning and research support channel. In this video, we're going to learn on how to create a simple Gantt chart in Microsoft Visio. Microsoft Visio is a diagramming and vector graphics application and is part of the Microsoft Office family. Let us start with defining what is a Gantt chart. A Gantt chart is a project management visualization tool that assists in the scheduling, managing, and monitoring specific tasks and resources in a project. It is a horizontal bar chart that represents a set of tasks. It could show planned and actual progress on a project, and it was developed by a mechanical engineer and management consultant, Henry L. Gantt. Gantt charts help you organize projects, improve overall project visibility, and keep everyone on track. Gantt charts also help managers provide resources when and where they need them. Gantt charts also encourage collaboration among project team members. And the main benefits of Gantt charts are easy to schedule the tasks, easy to understand clear and visual representation of time frames, and easy to add dependencies and predecessors, creatively showing your project plans. Before we proceed with the steps on creating Gantt charts, we need to have an understanding of a work breakdown structure. A work breakdown structure or WBS involves breaking a project down into a series of smaller tasks. Tasks are the basic units of work that the project manager plans, schedules, and monitors. In addition to tasks, every project has events or milestones. An event or milestone is a recognizable reference point that can be used to monitor progress. For example, here is a work breakdown structure of conducting an interview with five tasks. The work breakdown structure must include the task number, task name, start date, finish date, the duration, and the predecessor tasks that indicates which tasks must be done before starting another task. For example, Task number 2 can only start after task number 1 is complete. Tasks 3 and 4 can start at the same time after task number 2 is complete. In addition, the task progress indicates the percentage of the work done to show the actual progress of each task. We will be using this work breakdown structure in creating our Gantt chart. So how do we create a Gantt chart in Microsoft Visio? To create a Gantt chart in Microsoft Visio, we simply follow the following steps. First, with Microsoft Visio open, go to New and choose Gantt chart. Then, select an empty Gantt chart and click Create. You can also select the already predefined templates, but to have a better understanding, we just start from scratch. After clicking on Create button, the Gantt Chart Options dialog box appears where we can specify the basic details of our Gantt Chart. The number of tasks can be specified under the Tasks Options. By default, there are five tasks, but you can simply change it to correspond on the number of tasks identified in your work breakdown structure. On the right side, the time units can be specified. The major units indicates the largest time frame in working for the project, while the minor units indicates the smallest time frame in working for the project. Below the task options, the format for the task duration can be specified as well as the number of hours per day that is required to work on the project. Then, the start date and expected finish date for the project can be specified under the time scale range. Based on our work breakdown structure, we can specify the number of tasks, the major and minor units.
Then, specify the duration format and work hours per day. Also, specify the start and finish dates. Now, the date tab specifications should look like in the screenshot. Next, go to the Format tab. Here, you can specify some options with the taskbars and milestones. You can choose which shape you wanted to indicate the start of the task, the finish shape for the task, as well as the shape to indicate a milestone. For our example, we use circle for our start shape, star for our finish shape, and diamond as our milestone indicator. After setting everything, click on the OK button. Now, the work breakdown structure and Gantt chart will be ready for further editing. The work breakdown structure is shown on the left, and on the right side, you can see the Gantt chart visualized by horizontal bars. The work breakdown structure is comprised with five columns, the task number, task name, start date, finish date, and the duration. Notice the start and end shapes for the horizontal bars. They indicate the start and finish of every task. Also notice the white columns on the Gantt chart section. They indicate Saturdays and Sundays on the calendar, and they are highlighted since, by default, Microsoft Visio assumes that there is no work during these days. If you want to specify Saturdays and Sundays as working days, you can do so by going to Gantt chart in the menu bar and select Configure Working Time. Then put a check on Sunday and Saturday to make them as working days and click on OK. As you can notice, the white columns on the Gantt chart section have been removed. Let us now change the task names. You can change the start and finish dates of every task directly by editing the dates. However, you can just enter the task durations and the finish dates will be changed automatically. Notice that if you change the task duration, the taskbar on the Gantt chart also changes. Notice the varying lengths of the bars in the Gantt chart indicating the respective durations. Also notice that all tasks are starting on the same date. That is since we did not yet link the tasks to each other. To link the tasks all together, select all the bars on the Gantt chart and go to Gantt chart menu and click the link button. Now, the tasks have been linked together. However, the tasks are arranged in linear form. That is, the tasks must be done one after the other. In our example, it doesn't have to follow a linear structure as task 3 and 4 can be started at the same time right after we finish task number 2. Refer to the predecessor task column of our work breakdown structure. Also, task number 5 must only start whenever task number 3 and 4 are both done. In this regard, we must link the tasks separately. First, select tasks 1, 2, and 3 and link them together. Notice that the start dates and finish dates have changed as well as it formed a linear structure for the three tasks. Then, since task 4 also starts when task 2 is finished, link them as well. Now, tasks number 3 and 4 starts at the same time. Next, link task 4 and task number 5. Now, task 4 and task 5 have been linked. Finally, link task 3 and task number 5. Now, our Gantt chart has been created. You can add a title for the Gantt chart by dragging the shape title from the left pane. To include the percentage of the work done for every task, right-click on the taskbar to bring in the shape data. Then, change the percent complete 
to whatever percentage of your work progress. As you can see, the progress has been indicated for each task. Thank you for watching and watch out for our next research support videos. Please support this channel by hitting the like and subscribe buttons.